Hi, this is the 15 Love Podcast with Randy Walker, the tennis podcast with for 15 minutes or less because the world needs another podcast. So I want to talk a little bit about the latest book launch from my book publishing company, New Chapter Press, New Chapter Media. Um, we are the global leader in tennis book publishing. I uh, don't see any other uh, book publishing outlet around the world that publishes as many tennis books as we do. Um, but uh, this past week, uh, we released the latest book, which is called Juan Martin Del Potro, The Gentle Giant. It's written by Argentine tennis writer Sebastian Toroc. And we launched the book uh, at the start of the Delray Beach Open. Now, why would we choose the Delray Beach Open uh, to launch uh, this book? Well, the original plan uh, of when we were going to launch this book was at the 2019 U.S. Open, which would have been the 10-year anniversary of Juan Martin Del Potro's uh, epic win at the U.S. Open, where he beat Roger Federer in a thrilling Monday five-set final uh, to win his first and to date only uh, Grand Slam singles title. And it also, last year's U.S. Open, the 2019 U.S. Open, was uh, one year removed from Juan Martin's run to the final of the 2018 U.S. Open, uh, where he beat Rafael Nadal in the semifinals, but uh, ran out of gas uh, against the uh, amazing... Novak Djokovic in the final. So one year removed from the frenzy of uh, Juan Martin getting to the final of the U.S. Open and 10 years removed from his uh, uh, breakthrough win at the 2009 U.S. Open. What a great platform to promote a book. And obviously interest in tennis is at the highest at the U.S. Open. So uh, with this book, uh, it actually was a translation. We had to translate it from Spanish to English. And kudos to my two translators, uh, Luis Rossi and Haley Hunt. Uh, Haley, actually a uh, student at George Washington University and uh, from Massachusetts, Brookline, Massachusetts. And um, uh, both of them worked very diligently uh, to translate the book from Spanish to English, which uh, is quite difficult and also to get it into, you know, not the exact prose, but it has to be, you know, prose that, uh, um, you know, sounds good, you know, because uh, obviously with uh, uh, modifiers and uh, tenses and so forth, things are a little uh, uh, different in the exact translation. And of course, it has to be turned into tennis speak where there's proper uh, English um, tennis language. So, uh, so Luis and Haley uh, were grinding on the um, on the translations and uh, uh, around uh, you know May June or so and we're running a little behind I was a little nervous like gosh are we going to get this book out on time etc and then Juan Martin Del Potro injures his knee again at Queens Club and withdraws and then it soon becomes apparent uh, that he is not going to be playing at the U.S. Open in 2019. So here I'm going to launch this book and Juan Martin's not going to be there. Part of the strategy also in with some of these books is you want... Uh, the book to be part of the dialogue of the tournament. So, for instance, you know, if Juan Martin was playing in the 2019 U.S. Open and he's playing a match on Louis Armstrong Stadium against... uh you know, Denis Shapovalov or whomever. And, uh, you know, you want the commentators uh, to be talking about the new book or ex- uh, talking about a chapter or anecdote from the book. Or you want uh, one of the local beat writers um, you know, in New York or in the United States or some of the bloggers or, you know, usopen.org, uh, etc., to be referencing and plugging the book, you know, so you're going to get a little more pop. So if we're launching a book at the U.S. Open about, about, about a player who's not in the tournament, it's very hard to get people to write about it, etc. So we decide then, okay, we're going to postpone the book. So um, uh, we kind of figured that maybe he was going to be out maybe 
you know, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, etc. It'd probably make a comeback around October, November, leading into the ATP2 World Finals, etc. Um, so we postponed the book by a couple of a uh, uh, couple weeks. Um, then um, it just became apparent that this was not going to. He was not going to make a comeback in 2019, and uh, was targeting the Delray Beach Open. Uh, he had made a couple of uh, comeback uh, appearances at the Delray Beach Open. It's a tournament that he loves, tournament that he's done well at. So I kind of took a little chance and said, hey, okay, let's launch it on the Monday of the Delray Beach Open. He'd already been advertised as, as uh, uh, expected to play or playing in the tournament, etc. So that was the decision uh that we we went with that we would go with starting uh that launched the book on that uh monday february 17th and then um uh, emailing sebastian uh, about what uh the status is is for uh, juan martin's return and nobody knows and there's silence and there's mystery etc and then as we got a little closer to the tournament uh emailed ivan Barron, who's the assistant tournament director under his father mark uh, for the delray beach open ivan and I go way back to University of Georgia days um, when he was a freshman on the team and I was then a uh, reporter for the Red and Black and was writing articles about him and so forth. Um, so uh, I emailed Ivan. I said, hey, you know, we got this book coming out. You know, Juan Martin's going to make his comeback in Delray Beach Open. You know, maybe we could do some sort of promo or have the book be for sale at the uh, the tennis shop there on site, etc. And he said, yeah, that sounds good. We do it. But uh, uh, he may not play. So let's just see what his status is. If 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 he's playing, we'll do it. If he's not playing, uh, obviously it wouldn't uh, wouldn't really make sense. So sure enough, a couple weeks later, maybe like ten days later, actually, uh, I could kind of tell from Ivan's. Uh, a uh, little pessimistic uh, email response that uh, he might have known more than I knew. Uh, but then sure enough, it came out that uh, he was having to go under the knife again under another surgery and that he would definitely not be playing in the Delray Beach Open. So here we are, book finished, uh, now a third launch date. And at this point, you know, we couldn't delay it. So we just had to get it out. Uh, I needed to keep uh, the pre-orders that I already had um, via our distributor. So we launched the book on, on the twenty on the 17th, Monday, the 17th of February, and uh, just sent out a press release, did some blogs, did some social media. Uh, as you can see on m- uh, my social media page and also the social media page for the book at Delpo Book on Twitter. Um, you know, I just took a picture of the book there in the stadium at Delray Beach Open and... Uh, there it is, Juan Martin Del Potro's only presence at the 2020 Delray Beach Open here with the book. So um, anyway, uh, the book is uh, a really uh, uh, fascinating book about the life and uh, trials and triumphs of Juan Martin. It talks a lot about him as a youngster and uh, choosing between soccer and tennis and his travails, crisscrossing Argentina, playing in junior events with his first coach. Also, uh, he's uh, had some uh, some tragedy in his life with the death of his sister. Talks uh, a little bit about that. Um, and uh, also just uh, all these amazingly bad luck that he has had uh, with injuries and his mental state and his recuperations um, from all of these injuries and uh, going up to the Mayo Clinic in in, uh, in Minnesota and so forth and obviously all, all the triumphs as well. Um, his uh, win at the 2009 U.S. Open and all the celebrities that he met on his night out and uh, all the super Superstitions he had during that week, and what an instant uh, celebrity he became uh, after that win, um, and also uh, his comeback and, and his amazing run to the winning the silver medal in Rio de Janeiro at the Olympics, and then the amazing uh, effort that he put forward to lead Argentina to the Davis Cup in 2016. So all of these stories are told by Sebastian, and there's a hilarious, hilarious, hilarious chapter um, with Diego Maradona um, talking about Juan Martin and how uh, Sebastian uh, got a quote-unquote interview with Diego about uh, the skinny man, as uh, Diego calls uh, Juan Martin. So that, that chapter is, uh, is worth uh, 
the price of the book itself. But uh, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it where books are sold. It's on Kindle. It's on electronic devices. Uh, and uh, obviously a hardcover uh, as well, paperback. So um, highly recommend you uh, uh, you get it. Juan Martin, Del Potro, The Gentle Giant. I think other than Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic, I think the next most popular player globally on the men's side is Juan Martin Del Potro. And that's part of the reason why I published this book because I knew that he had just such a massive fan base. And um, also, he, he, his story deserved to be told, you know, deserved to be told more in the in the English world, in the English language world. I think there's so much about Rafa and Roger and Novak and, uh, you know, and also Andy Murray. But Juan Martin's story, which in a way is a lot more compelling and fascinating than um, the other aforementioned great champions, that uh, Juan Martin's story really deserved to be told. And that's part of the reason why I decided to publish this book. So, um, uh, anyway, we wish uh, Juan Martin a healthy recovery. I know we're going to see him back on a tennis court at some point, just based on his uh, uh, persistence that you'll read about in the book. So uh, good luck to uh, Juan Martin, and uh, congratulations to Sebastian. And um, we hope you pick up this book uh, at a bookstore at Amazon uh, soon. So for Randy, uh, this is Randy Walker's uh, 15 Love podcast because the world needs another podcast. And uh, we're approaching 15 minutes. So uh, for Randy Walker, I'm out.